Hi friends, so in today's video I wanted to talk about one of the aspects of microservices and working with different services which is retries and uh, uh, so in this video uh, I'm gonna break it into three cases like which is one just walking through the uh, use case of retries why we need it and then we'll take a look at the example of how to use retries in a node service and next we'll look into the library using which we'll implement the retries to get started let's look at the use case so for example uh this is a very high level extracted view of a microservice where user sends a request via api gateway and then api gateway would interact with either of the microservice based on the um, request which comes from the customer so it might interact with user data if user has asked for user data or just interact with profile if user asks for user profile now um in this case, uh, user profile explicitly lives only in the user profile microservice and which interacts with its own database to store the profiles and similar for user data. Now, uh, in this case, when the request comes to user data, the user for to fetch the user data, we sometimes we also need the user profile. So in that case, for some of the rest APIs and user data, it may happen that it interacts with the user profile microservice to get the user profile and also get the data from database and then return the request. Now, uh, while working with services, we all must have observed that uh, uh, sometimes things goes wrong, like uh, maybe, uh, for example, the user profile service, uh, a lot of other microservices might be interacting with it. And if there's a, just as for a spike of load, then it may happen that it starts returning 500 to the request so which would happen when a request comes to user data which interacts with user profile if there's a 500 for a request and if you don't have a retry we might return that error to the customer which we usually don't want uh, we want the request to be successful so in that case what we do is uh, if a request fails we retry and uh, retry configuration differs by the use case but we retry and uh, if we get a successful response then we return the response if even after the uh, our retry configuration after sufficient number of retries we are sure that user profile something has gone wrong and we cannot return a uh, uh, successful response to the customer in that case we return error so that's the use case of uh, retries and next let's look into the code base of how retries could be implemented now let's look at the example of retries so in this repository, you would see I have got two microservices built. So this is a very simplified view of microservice. Those are both core servers. So I've got this user data service, which is our uh, main service with which customers would interact. And I've got user profile services, which stores the user profile. So let's look at the first user profile service. So in this service, we have got one endpoint get users profile and when called it will return the display name of the user and it returns or runs on port 3000 whereas the next one which is uh, user data so in user data we have got an endpoint called user profile and uh, uh, let's call it user data for query so it, we have got a user data endpoint which calls uh, the other service the uh, user profile service get user profile and uh, if the status is 2000 it returns throws error or returns a successful response so this is what we have and let's start the service so both the services are up now they're running uh, i'll also open one more terminal here minimize these so in this terminal, let's curl or let's request the uh, user data service to get the response. So I'll curl uh, HTTP localhost 3001. So that's what our user data service is running on. And let's request user data. So we called the request and it fetched from the other service, which was user profile and it returned the data. So it worked fine. But let's say in a case where uh, things when things go wrong. So for example, uh, in this case, uh, the service actually, uh, for some reason, rather than returning successful response, it returns, uh, uh, let's say if it's the first retry, so constant i equals zero. And let's say a lot of requests come in. Uh, so we can actually do 
dot status status equals and we actually uh, return error so I've got the code here so something went wrong and went to next so let's start the user profile service got restarted now if you call the user data service clean it if I call user data service so it actually returned internal uh, server error so what happened was when we called uh, the endpoint the status came as uh, not 200 it came as 500 and then we returned response status so uh, error response and we must have logged it here. you can see the uh, status came as 500 and then we actually uh, just threw error so the user got internal server error so uh, to avoid these uh, we actually retry and let's say this happens when a lot of requests come in so let's make it a uh, variable so let's say uh, if i equals zero so when it's a first request only then it fails I'm just trying to mimic the real scenarios here but it may happen that a lot of requests have come in so it fails so you can see uh, only on the first retry uh, first call it fails the rest it's successful so let's uh, restart the service and but still when we call it it actually fails because I could also I plus plus restart the server now if I call the endpoint yeah so the first point failed whereas the second one succeeded because uh, the value of i was incremented by one but in this case user had to like make quite a call twice but we can actually do that in our code itself so we can implement retry and uh, that would help us so one of the very famous libraries that we use is p retry so uh, we'll also look into the code base but this is a really good library so uh, we have got period try and then uh, uh, you can actually call the endpoint and uh, then um, if you want to abort or else just keep going if it throws error it will retry and just pass the config how many retries you want so let's look at the code here let's implement period try so if I come up so I have already imported it and I've got this code I'll probably just copy paste this and walk through the code or maybe I'll implement it so that we all follow along so to implement this all we need to do is uh, await p retry so it's an async call and then the first argument is the function that we want to call within which we'll call the API call so I'll just do async call that and the second argument is the options so one of the options we need in this case is retries so we'll let's say we make two retries and then I can just copy my code as is and here. so now you can see we have got a retry code and we'll retry it twice and only then succeed so for example now let's refresh the user data again and also the user profile so start so I clean it and then call it again so you can see here our uh, user profile service got 12 twice and we got the response uh, so this is how we implement p retries in node service uh, there are a few more options we can do for example I think uh, one of the option is uh, on failed attempt so this is a method so we can actually uh, look into the code. Um, so uh, the error with it failed, and then you can actually, you know, uh, log the error. So for example, uh, I'll just do error. Now, if I restart this service and the other one also, so that we get error from user data and user profile come back here and call our endpoint again so you can see uh, it logged 
the error the v error we got uh error 500 we got so uh this is pretty cool uh we use this uh quite a few times and uh to see the errors and also the uh to retry so let's look into the code base of the retry library we are using which is pretry so the code base is here and uh I'm just giving the walkthrough um it's uh owned and uh, maintained by Sindre. so in case you like it like consider sponsoring and uh contributing to the project so yeah um and there's another project that we'll look at which is node retry so p retry uses that uses node retry under the hood so we'll take a look at that so with those two in mind let's get started is the code base so this is no retry this p retry and uh well, one final time before we jump into the code base to look back at the api so p retry uh returns a promise uh, which we await and as the first argument we pass our method that we want to uh asynchronous method that we want to retry so in this case we have got fetch call and we retry this and the second option is the options and which second argument is the options and in this case uh, retries and the others so let's look at the code base so packages in so this is a module and it exports index.js so let's look at index.js cool um to look from the start uh we didn't really use a bot error but it's a class being exported it's yeah it extends error uh the next is decorator with counts uh decorate error with counts okay it updates the error message i'm sure it's being called somewhere and yeah so this is the default export pre retry and as I saw like we it returns a it's an async function which has a promise in it so we actually can call resolve and reject uh, the function inside and these are the default options so we've got 10 retries by default should retry on failed attempt is empty function we, we uh, did send a function for logging and we yeah so we spread the options to override them next we have got operation equals retry dot operation so this retry comes from okay so this comes from the node retry library uh we'll take a look at that and uh, we've got retry operation so we've got operation here uh got few helper methods here and clean up and yeah so the first we call uh operation dot attempt so we call this method so let's look at operation dot attempt uh, so this is the library um common js so we've got main as index.js let's look at index.js and uh it exports lib.retry and uh, i think we saw here that operation was retry.operation with options so this is the operation method let's look at it so we get the options first then we call exports or timeout so we've got timeout method here and we pass options here and uh, we get the options here so okay so these are the defaults in retry node retry library which we have got two retries factor of two minimum timeout so this is timeout between uh, each retry so um, minimum timeout is one second and max is infinity randomized false and this okay so this we are iterating through options and uh, updating value of uh, opds so the default options if you find them here next we have got okay so just a sanity check if the configuration is wrong min timeout is greater than max timeout next we have got okay so if you have got retries we iterate over through the number of retries we have and we create timeout and push into the timeout array so let's look at the timeout function also once it's right here create timeout so we've got function attempt number so okay so it just Increment of one two three four uh, options random and uh, okay so this is the formula using which we call the uh, back off by which it should try so we get random number multiplied by the max of min timeout and one so min timeout uh, multiplied by the power factor into attempts so if it's a 
first attempt 1 to the power 2 so 1 so it's the second attempt 1 to the 2 to the power 2 so 4 so that's what we get multiplied and then we calculate the min of the max timeout or the timeout we calculate and then we return it uh, just a thing here so if you go to node retry library they have got this uh, documentation by the way documentation of both the libraries is pretty good if you want to check it out so they have got this article here attached when talking about timeouts how they calculate it and i had it open already so by professor Douglas. so you can actually take a look here and it's it's a pretty good article i gave it a read like it's from 2009 but it's exceptionally good like how he built bash to actually uh make sure that uh, in the old times like with the ethernets like a uh, lot of computers interact with each other and if two computers are sending the message at the same time there would be a clash of message so there would be noise and a computer listens to themselves to identify if it's a noise and in that case he built a retry mechanism but with a variable time for each one so that uh, if there's a bad signal not all the computers sending the message retry on the same time and uh, this is exactly what we want in microservice like if one of the services throws error and then uh, if all the other services were calling it at the same time and that particular service was under stress so we don't want them to retry on the same time we want them to retry in a variable time very close to each other but variable time so this this is a pretty good article give it a read and uh, i think i provide a douglas thing so yeah uh next we have got let's come back to the code again so we saw we calculate the timeouts and we uh create timeout and we push them to the timeouts array and next we have got forever if we are learning learning uh, running it forever and timeouts length is not zero so in which case the retries was zero or some or retries was false value zero or something so because of which it didn't run but if it didn't run then we actually push one timeout if it's forever like it's got to be same then we sort that timeout so that we have the minimum start and then with each timeout the timeout increases and return the timeouts um, so we've got timeout here and then we return the retry operation object so let's look at this so we have got retry operation here and uh, yeah, I think it gets options and it just yeah, sets the defaults values of each uh, property and then it has got some uh, methods to it. So we'll, we'll see which method is being called. So we call uh, operation dot attempt here with attempt number which which gets attempt number and we call <coughs> input is the our function being called so we call the input here so let's look again attempt yeah so we've got attempt uh, method here so our function is the function here this dot underscore fn so uh, storing it in uh, prototype and then uh, timeout if we have timeout options uh, I think yeah, we we don't pass from p retry so i'm gonna ignore it but i think it's for the request timeout so i'm gonna ignore this part and then we have got self.s and uh, if operation timeout callback uh it's not there operation start so it got started and then we call the function okay so we call the function now so with the attempt number i guess starting with the first and let's say we call the input and it throws an error on the first go so this throws and it goes into catch so we catch the error if it's an instance of error then throw it again okay and uh oh it's not an instance of error sorry it's a okay so if it if we don't throw an error it just uh kind of throws an error here so be sure like if your function is failing then throw an error next is uh abort error so i think yeah so if we they export a bot error if you throw this kind of error then uh we'll just abort the calls and if it's a type error again we throw it again 
and then decorate error with count so we saw this method we decorate the error so if option should retry false if it's false then we reject uh, where we pass the retry as should retry as false but we pass it as we don't it's default true and on failed attempt we saw that this method gets called on each fail on each attempt so we can lock the message and yeah so we have got operation dot retry here not so let's look at this retry method We've got retry method here. So we get the error. Uh, I think, yeah, we pass the error here. We get the error, uh, clear timeouts if there are any. If not, we come back here. So set, set the current time and yeah, make sure that the by the time we come here, it's not over the uh, max retry time. Push the errors into error array. Uh, timeout.unshift get the first timeout if it's undefined uh, then it's a different story but it's not undefined so we do the set timeout so this is the timeout we passed so this is the timeout we calculated in the previous step attempt plus plus and then we'll skip the callback part we don't have callback but then we call self.function so function we in the attempt line number 96 we associated with value so we uh, save the function here so we call function dot attempt so again our function gets called which is this but called so we pass get the attempt number we come here and let's say if it throws again it comes back to the catch and uh, then it goes through again and it retries if it needs to retry and then uh, yeah so we retry again and this code flows through it again uh, it's pretty cool implementation of uh, uh, recursion across the services and across the packages sorry <laughs> which is pretty cool and uh, then yeah so uh, we call it again and in case if it succeeds if let's say if the call succeeds function dot timeout this succeeds if it succeeds then we come here and we resolve the result and in case it doesn't succeed then we actually as the number of time uh, uh retries we push only that many timeouts and let's say we unshift the queue is empty so it will be undefined uh we come here and if there are any cache timeouts we run those or else we just return false so it returned false and then uh we uh it, once it returns false so this returns false so that would become true and this would be our um, terminating uh, if condition for the uh, recursive loops and then operation dot main error so it will throw the main error and we get the final error here yeah and we decorate the error and then reject with the final error so this is how p retry works under the hood this pretty pretty good implementation and i'm really happy that i got a look in the code and got time for it and uh, it's it's pretty good implementation and uh, yeah um let me know how you felt about this format of the demo looking into library code open source code and uh, yeah let me know in comments if there are any questions and do go and support the open source devs on their uh, libraries the way you can and uh, feel free to reach out to me in comments with any questions and to like and share the video thank you